Hello, my name is Liz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever unboxing video on my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video like this, period. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I will be unboxing the Boxy Lux box, which came in the mail today for me. Um, I'm super excited about it. This is my first Boxy Lux. I subscribed to get the Boxy Lux. Well, I was on the wait list as of the beginning of December, and I was finally taken, taken off this month, so I'm really excited about that. I will try to move through this very quickly. Thank you again for watching this video. Please subscribe. Also, please click on the little bell so that you can be notified whenever I post videos. It won't be crazy often, but I will be doing a few unboxings a month at least. Maybe a few other makeup looks. We'll see. And please comment below and let me know what you thought of this video. I really appreciate your feedback and I will respond. Thank you. Okay, so what happened was my box was delivered to my front porch and it was pouring down rain outside so it got soaking wet and when I brought it inside I was able to just easily tear it open because it was falling apart. So I transferred it to a box from I got a couple of months ago and I put all the items in there so I could still kind of unbox it with you guys. So I'm going to pull out the first item and the first item is this train case which you guys have all already seen and you all know what it looks like so I am not going to open it and then the second item that everyone received in their boxy lux is the it cosmetics confidence in a cream and I've never tried this before I really really am excited to try it but I'm not going to open it today because I already have a moisturizer opened so I'm going to save that for later because I like to keep as many items closed as possible and sealed until I'm ready for them. Um, my third item I got in the box is Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion in the shade, mm, where is it? In the shade Medium. So this is what it looks like and I know you guys have all seen this too. So I'm just going to move on along. Um, the fourth thing in my box is Deborah Lipman lip men nail polish and I do actually have the shade on my fingers right now so if you can see that this is another item that I got in the box and then I got these Moda powder and soft glow brushes and I'm going to try them I don't know if I'm gonna use the highlighter brush for my highlighter I think I'm going to use it for blush but that's what I got. And then another item I got is Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love. And it is in the shade Mocha. So I am going to try this today as well. And then I also got the Lily Lashes Faux Mink. So they are not real mink. So I can wear them. And... Another item that I got in the box is the same thing everyone's getting with their Boxy Charm and Boxy Lux, this Cover FX palette. And I actually got the shade Light Medium, if you can see that. So I will be trying this on today. And then another item that I'm actually pretty excited about because I don't own a Morphe palette is... Morphe 15 in Night Master and I am super excited about this so especially because I did not want the day I think it was Day Slayer I wanted the Night Master so I'm just gonna pop it open really quick so we can all take a look at it let's see it is well protected and this, hang on, this is what it looks like. So I am very, very excited about this. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a try on. Okay, so as you can see, I do already have my eyebrows done. So um, I just didn't want to open up the eyebrow cushion yet. I don't want it drying out. I want to use my other eyebrow products first. 
So I'm going to start with this Cover FX palette and I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go ahead and start with the finishing powder. This one right here. I'm going to have to open my Moda brushes first. I actually have not opened those yet. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Moda brush right here that we got in our box and I'm going to apply the finishing powder all over my face. My stomach is growling. I'm starving. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the con I might brighten my eyes up a little bit first actually with this I am very tired so my eyes are definitely showing it now I'm going to go in with the contour and I'm using my contour brush I'm not using the big fluffy brush or the highlighter brush for this. Yeah, that's pretty pigmented. Okay. Now let's just see if I can blend that out. Let me fix this really quick. By the way, I love these brushes. These are real techniques. I have the contour brush and the highlighter brush and I love them both. You do want to take the contour brush into your hairline and then work it up. Yeah, this is really pigmented on me. So. My hair, I usually do my makeup before my hair is done, but I didn't I don't didn't really want to take the time to straighten my hair or let it dry curly. So, Unfortunately, I have to do it with my hair already finished. And I do love doing full contours. I think I am going to go in with that powder brush that I got and blend this a little bit. Like I said, that Real Techniques um, contour brush is amazing. Okay, now I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. Okay, another thing that I actually do need to do is go down into my neckline, which I almost forgot. Okie dokie. There we go. 
Now for the nose. I will be getting a ring light soon, so there won't be all these shadows, and it'll be a lot clearer. So, just bear with me on this. Okay, so I'm done with that part, and now I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the blush. I'm going to try the little, okay, yeah, the blush is pretty pigmented. <laughs> I think this highlighting brush works pretty well for that, actually. Yeah, this highlighter brush would not work for my highlighter because I just love it to pop. Okay, there is a lot of that, but you know, it works. Let me see if I can blend it a little bit. There we go. Okay, now for the highlighter. I'm going to first go in with this golden highlighter right here and see how it looks. Hmm. can't see it well on camera but it shows up okay I'm gonna try the pink also the pinky highlighter looking one okay I like that it gives it a bit of a more of a wet look really okay yeah can you see that yeah okay so i do like the pink one better um let's see I'm so sorry about the shadows. I'm so sorry about all the shadows. Okay. Okay. It looks good. I, I'm in love with this palette. I love it. It is perfectly pigmented for me. I don't know about in the summer when I get darker, but we'll see. Okay, now I'm going to try out this Morphe palette. Let's just see how this works out. Okay. Yeah, these colors are beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Look at this. Just, just beautiful. 
so, so happy I got this palette. Okay. Okay, so I believe the first shade I'm going to go in with is Selfie, which is this one right here. Okay, that's really, really pigmented. So, dip very lightly. Hoping I will be able to blend that out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Cliché, which is this one right here. Put it in the crease a little bit. And... Go in with a more dense brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Excuse Me right here. And just put it on my outer lid. And just drag it a little bit into the crease. Now I'm going to blend, blend, blend with just uh, an Itch Cosmetics blending bl brush. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade Creativity, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to go in with my finger. Very pigmented. So far, my first experience with Morphe is a pretty good one. I'm going to put it over about two-thirds of the lid. Very pretty shade. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go on my lower lash line with this Luxie 141 mini round brush that we got in a previous BoxyCharm. And I'm going to go in with, I'll go in with Cliché again. Okay, I'm just going to go on my lower lash line with this Luxie 
141 mini round brush that we got in a previous boxy charm. And I'm gonna go in with I'll go in with cliche again. Okay, and my eye look is almost completed, but I'm going to, I'm actually going to go back in to the Cover FX palette and do my inner corner highlight. And I'm using the brightener from, from the palette, the brightener right here. Okay, it's pretty poppin'. So, I'm gonna go in and do my brow bone. Okay, it looks good. So now I'm just going to apply some liner and mascara and finish my look up. So I'm back. I did my mascara off camera and I did my eyeliner off camera and obviously I did my lipstick off camera too. I did not forget about the Becca Cosmetics lipstick and I love opening this. Okay, I'll stop now. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, please follow me. I would greatly appreciate it. And you can click the little bell below and it will notify you anytime I upload a video. I will doing, be doing probably a few unboxings a month. Um, also, I'll leave a link to my Instagram below. And thank you so much for sticking, sticking with me through this video. Thank you.